Hey YouTube, this is Drew Hatton Tech here to show you how to install Windows on a dual boot with Ubuntu. Made a video showing you how to install Ubuntu on a dual boot with Windows. This video shows you how to do it with Ubuntu installed first. So why do you want to do this? Well maybe you're running Ubuntu which is your main operating system and you need to add Windows to your dual boot because there are applications that you cannot run on Ubuntu and that you cannot virtualize, like that have to run on your physical machine. So that's the case, you came to the right place. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to this link that I'll have in the description. Then you're going to select your edition of Windows. As of right now, the Windows 10 November 2019 update is the latest version. So you're going to click on the latest version, and you're going to click Confirm. Then you're going to choose your language. I'm choosing English. I'm going to hit Confirm. OK, then you're going to go to the 64-bit download. Then you're going to make sure Save File Selected. And then you're going to hit OK. I'm going to cancel because I've already downloaded the file. I got it right here. And I made a video showing you how to create a bootable flash drive out of any ISO on Ubuntu. I'll have a link to that in the description and I'll link it up in the card. So then once you have your bootable Windows flash drive created, First thing you're going to want to do is actually plug in your Ubuntu install media. Now I'm doing this in a virtual machine, but the behavior and everything will be the same. And you're going to plug in your install media, reboot your computer. Then you're going to press your boot menu key. My boot menu key is the escape key, but it's maybe different with yours. But and you're going to, once you're in your boot menu, you're going to select EFI USB device. Then you're going to select try Ubuntu without installing. Okay, then you're going to go to show applications. And then you're going to open up Gparted for it to load up. Then you're going to select your Ubuntu partition, which will be ext4. I'm going to click on that, and you're going to click this little arrow. Okay, and then the free space phone space. You're going to replace this number with however big you want your Windows partition to be. I'm allocating 20 gigabytes, so I'm going to put in like around 20 gigabytes. So I'm going to put in 20,000 mebby bytes. Then we're going to click resize slash move. Then on this unallocated space, you're going to hit that little plus button. Then under file system, you're going to click on that. You're going to click on NTFS. Then you're going to click add. And you're going to want to click that little check mark. Then click apply. Ignore that warning. As long as you have your data backed up, you should be fine. I've never had resizing partitions cause me data loss, anyway. But, anyway, this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. Okay, then once it says uh, all operations successfully completed, then we're going to hit close. Okay, then we're going to close out of Gparted. And then you're going to go to power, restart. It says please remove the installation media and then reboot. Then move your Ubuntu install media. Then connect your Windows installation media. Okay, then restart your system. Then press your boot menu key again. Then go to your Windows installation media, minus CD-ROM drive, then press enter. 
you gotta press enter twice. After you select it, then you gotta press enter, if you know what I mean. Okay, just let that boot. Okay, then you're gonna click next, install now. Okay, then you're gonna enter a product key. In my case, I'm just installing Windows for the sake of showing you how to install Windows on a dual boot with Ubuntu. So I'm just gonna select I don't have a product key since I'm gonna delete this VM afterwards. So in my case, if you don't have a product key, you're just gonna select whichever version of Windows you want. You can select any one that you want if you don't have a product key. I mean, hey, you're getting it for free after all if you don't have a product key. Okay, then you're gonna check off I accept the license terms, then you're gonna hit next. Then you're gonna hit custom install Windows only. Then you're gonna click on your partition that you're gonna install Windows to. If you try to install it to any other partition, it won't even let you install it to any other partition, so you know which one to install to. And you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna click next. Okay, then once you're presented with the screen, you're gonna just gonna go through the setup. So I am in Canada. Select that. Click yes. Okay, I'm using the US keyboard. And then click skip. Okay, then you're gonna click setup for personal use and click next. So now you can link your Microsoft account, but for my purposes, I'm just gonna click, just gonna use an offline account. And then I'm gonna click limited experience. And then I'm just gonna name my account. Okay, then click next. Password. And click next. Type it again. Okay, then punch in security questions. I'm not actually using this, so that's why I'm just putting in completely random answers that I will completely forget. Okay, then you're going to click no, you do not well, want to do more cross device with device activity history. Then you're going to click decline. You do not want to use online speech recognition. This is all for privacy reasons. You want to click, you do not want to let Microsoft and apps use your location. You do not want to use find my device. You only want to send basic data. You do not want to improve inking and typing. You do not want to get tailored experience with, is with diagnostic data. You do not want to let apps use advertising ID. Okay, then I'll just go through this process. I'll meet you at the end of it. Okay, then you're gonna wanna plug in your Ubuntu install media. Then you're gonna wanna restart your computer. Okay, then you're gonna wanna press your boot menu key. Then we're gonna select EFI USB device. Then you're gonna try Ubuntu without installing. Okay, then you're gonna go to show applications. Then you wanna go to then you're gonna wanna go to terminal. Then you're gonna wanna type. And by the way, I'll have all, all those commands in the description. Anyway, you're gonna wanna type sudo add apt repository ppa colon yann ubuntu slash boot repair then hit enter 
Then hit enter again. Then you're going to type sudo apt get install boot repair. Then hit enter. Then hit y. Then we'll go through and install boot repair. You need to run that to get back into your Ubuntu system again. Okay, then once this is done, you're going to close out a terminal. Then you're going to go to show applications again. Okay, then you're going to click on boot repair. Okay, then once this pops up, you're going to click recommended repair. Okay, then you do not want to upload a report to Pastebin. Okay, then you're going to reboot your computer. And you're going to move your Ubuntu install media. And then you're going to restart win. Restart your computer. And then you'll be back with the option to boot into your Ubuntu or Windows. Now you will see a bunch of extra options. That's okay, we can remove those. Just go into Ubuntu. Okay, then you're going to log into your username. Okay, then you're going to go to show applications. Then you're going to go to terminal. And by the way, I'll have all, all these commands in the description as well. But I'm going to type sudo add apt repository PPA con Daniel Rich Tur 2007 slash grub customizer. Then hit enter. Punch in your password. Then hit enter again. Then you're going to type sudo apt get install grub customizer, then hit enter, then hit y, then hit enter, and I'll go through and install grub customizer. Once that's done, you're going to close out of terminal. Then you're going to go into Grub Customizer and your password. Okay, then you can just go ahead and remove all these extra options. Make absolutely sure that you don't do this to the options that you actually need, or you're going to be kind of screwed. Make sure you only remove the options that you don't need, and then click Save. And we'll go through and update your Grub configuration. Then try restarting your computer. Okay, now those extra options are gone. So you can select Windows Boot Manager, and it'll boot up, boot up your Windows. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.